Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at naming and drawing carbonyl compounds. Aldehydes and ketones are two compounds which contain the carbonyl functional group. Aldehydes contain the carbonyl functional group on the end carbon and ketones contain the carbonyl functional group somewhere within the chain. Let's look at the naming rules for naming carbonyls. First we need to identify the longest chain which contains the carbonyl group. We then need to number this from the end closest to the carbonyl group. If the carbonyl is on the first carbon, then the end of the name will be AL. In this case, this would be pentanol because we have five carbons. We then need to name and identify our branches. Here we have a methyl branch on the third carbon. If you have multiple branches of the same type, then we use the prefix di and tri. If you have different branches, you name them alphabetically. This compound is 3-methylpentanol. Let's look at another example. We need to find the longest chain of continuous carbons containing the carbonyl group. We then number from the end closest to the carbonyl. In this case, the carbonyl is on the second carbon, making this a ketone. We have three branches and they're all the same. They're all methyl branches. Because of this, we will use the prefix tri to show that there are three of them. There are six carbons in the main chain, so this is based on hexane. The carbonyl group is on number two, so we insert this into the name and end with own. At the start of the name, we put the branches. We need to have a number for each branch. In this case, they were on branches three, three and five. This means that this molecule is 335-trimethylhexan-2-one. Pause the video now and try to name these molecules. Let's look now at drawing carbonyls. The first step for drawing the carbonyls is to break the name down into the different sections. At the end of the name, you will have how many carbons there are and whether or not it is a ketone or an aldehyde. You then need to look for the numbers and the branches. In this case, we have th five carbons as we have pentanone. On the third carbon, we have the carbonyl group. On the second carbon, we have a methyl group. This contains one carbon. We then need to go around and fill in all of the bonds so that each carbon has four bonds, taking care around the carbonyl group. Let's look at drawing an aldehyde. We need to break the name up into the different parts. We have 3-methylbutanol. This means that we have four carbons and on the first carbon there will be the carbonyl group. On the third carbon, we will have a methyl group, which consists of one carbon. We then need to go around the structure and fill in the bonds so that every carbon has four bonds. Pause the video now and draw these molecules.
Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!